obesity genetics research group in Amsterdam was founded somewhere between 2008 and 2010 when I realized that there were no gene tests available for people with unexplained obesity. The group includes clinicians, molecular geneticists and functional researchers that all study obesity and the associated conditions. One gene can cause other beetle syndrome but also more severe phenotype. We have an explanation for that. When we started working on the genetics of obesity here in the Netherlands, uh, there was just a single gene test available. With the upcoming next generation sequencing possibilities, I decided to make a gene panel for obesity disorders as well. When we first started, it was reported in the literature that less than 5% had a genetic cause. With our new gene panel analysis, we identified many more cases. I first met Megan at the age of one and a half years. She was always hungry. Her complete picture was suggestive of a defect in the leptin melanocortin pathway. She was one of the first patients that could have this genetic test. We identified a compound heterozygous mutation in the leptin receptor. We are the referral center here for the Netherlands. We get quite a number of samples sent to us. Uh, Mika's study has helped us in identifying genes that are uh, associated with, for instance, syndromic obesity, together with the leptin melanocortin genes. So we have the whole set of clinically relevant genes in one particular diagnostic test. We always think obesity is just not moving enough, eating too much, but it's much more complex than that. If you figure out what the main causes of obesity are, that will also help to reduce the stigma in society. Ja, hoe meer mensen wij kunnen uitleggen dat er wat met haar aan de hand is, hoe minder mensen zij het hoeven uit te leggen, normaal op kan groeien en een normaal leven heeft. The parents showed a few months later that the weight started dropping gradually just because of the diagnosis itself. One of our first important studies was that we looked at a cohort of 1,230 patients. Around 4% of the adults have a, a genetic cause of obesity. And in children, that's even more, it's 7%. We don't want to test every single person with obesity with this gene panel because it's quite expensive to do that. So that's why we want to know what are the diagnostic criteria. We have thus far analyzed more than 5,000 samples. In the latest study, we've shown that around 15% has a genetic cause of the obesity, which is much higher than previously reported. At the moment, we see that selection criteria that uh, are important is early age of onset, which means the presence of obesity before the age of five, and the presence of hyperphagia, which means always feeling hungry. 250 genes were sequenced, but we only reported the diagnostic results of 52 genes. In the future, we aim to analyze the 200 candidate genes. That will be a new PZ project starting soon. The Obesity Genetics Research Group is doing very important work, discovering new pathways um, that are involved in dysregulated eating behavior and obesity. And in that sense, uh, I think it's important for the patients that have monogenetic obesity, but it will also help us um, develop more treatment modalities targeted at pathways that are involved in obesity. We are the, the fundamental researchers uh, in the uh, collaboration uh, with Mieke because most of those gene mutations that they found uh, have uh, a function in the brain. We grow a clump of cells, which we call organoids, to uh, study the function in, in, in human cells. If you find mutations uh, that are related to brain function, it is really important to understand those to have new targets for making new drugs. My role here in the research group is to determine the prevalence of genetic causes of obesity in a large bariatric cohort. We're looking at uh, well, what kind of genetic mutations can we find. Most important, the bariatric surgeons were very interesting in whether a genetic cause is influencing the results of a bariatric procedure. Ultimately, you want to uh, predict before patients underwent surgery whether the surgery would be successful or not. 
My aim is to offer all patients with genetic obesity a personalized treatment and this is already starting with our collaborators in Rotterdam. Patients with genetic obesity don't respond to the regular treatments like a lifestyle intervention. So this is a patient group that is really in need of novel drug treatment. We're running a clinical trial for leptin receptor deficiency patients. In the trial they get a novel drug treatment which is an MC4R agonist. The work that uh, Mieke van Haals does is unique. In the past it took us sometimes even years to find out the cause of the severe obesity in our patients. And now, if a patient comes in with the, with the clinical phenotype in which we suspect a uh, cause, then it takes us two to three months to get the diagnosis. And that is really important for the patient.